so this is the a little animation that I've just put together. Yeah, basically it's just made of three different elements. There's the gridded squares in the background, and there's colors that swap across, and then there's the text glitch effect as well. So yeah, I'm just going to go quickly through this and recreate it. So I'm just going to hit Control Y, and that just brings us a background shape. Hit that down, make that black, and lock it in. And then we're just going to start off with a square and bring in whatever color array that you want. And just throw the color array onto the rectangle shape and click Fill Color. And here I'm just going to bring it down to maybe one, yeah, one, 130 ish. And I'm just going to click that into a duplicator and change the distribution to linear. And I'm just going to change this to five or so. The shape scale is something we want to use just to, to span this out. So I'll just throw in a random on the X. And this is just, and these colors are going to change a fair bit as well. And then we're just going to throw a, so I'm just going to click on a duplicator and just add another duplicator on top of this as well. And this one's going to be a linear, but on the, on the vertical. So I'm just going to change that to maybe four or five different sections. So how I did that pixelation effect with the gradient was basically just by adding that filter to the master duplicator here. So I am just going to do a blur. And in the blur, we're just going to cancel out the Y. And it's just going to be on the X. So we go back into the filter again in the duplicators and we're going to add a pixelate. And I'm just going to swipe this across as well and just place it over here a little bit. The reason for this is that we just I just wanted I didn't want everything to happen in the middle. I just liked that we could have the colors kind of expand from the, the left into the right. So now we can just kind of change this and make we can make the colors grow and shrink. Another thing I had done was play with the blend mode and again I this is just see what comes up. Sometimes there's some kind of happy coincidences. I'm just going to select all those and hit Control G, and I'm just going to call this color bar. <laughs> so now we're just going to start doing that grid that's in the in the background. So it's going to change that to about five by five. Throw it into duplicator and make it 100 by 100, 5 by 5, cool. And then I'm just going to put another duplicator inside there. And I usually change this to a step just because it's um, just a bit easier to, to figure out what's going on. So we'll just go 5 by 5 and then just see what works here. 120, what's the magic number? Depending on the size of your grid, that's going to little change for you. But since, yeah, that's just purely based on the size of mine. So another thing here uh, is that that grid kind of jumped on and off. And the simple way of doing that is just use the shape visibility. You can see it's a checkbox, but you can actually throw something in there as well. So if I throw a noise in there, you can just see that kind of funneling around. So what I did was add a random, and then with, with these we can, whoop, we can grow and shrink how many we're on. So what I've done here is keep the minimum to quite a bit, and then once you lift this up, you can just kind of see it dropping off as well. 
and this was just like a subtle effect that was in the background so it wasn't there for long so again I'm just gonna get all those together and group them and call this grid go back in here and I'm just gonna change this duplicator so that the height is all within those colors and that's just how I want to work it so yeah just bear with me hopefully it'll just make sense as I run through it so just draw your mask over top of it then in the position go to add behavior stagger on the Y you can see it's coming down okay now we're going to select all three of those and hit ctrl G so it's in a group and then we're going to hit hit that inside a duplicator and it's a mess so we have to change this from the distribution down to a point and we're just going to change this to about six or so that's just a guess and the stagger as well we're going to change this maximum to There we go, and this is just a bit of trial and error. It might be a bit hard to see on the screen recording. I'll keep it to six and I'll just get over it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little blue dot here, put that on top of my text shape, and add it to the mask. And now when I'm in here, everything moves together so what I want to do is I want to change the position X and throw in some noise and you can see there is some subtle movement and we can change the time scale of it as well and we can do what we want So this is just going to be a real kind of simple and subtle effect and I'll throw my color bars as well. So in the color bar I'm just going to bring down the random so so I'm going to key that there. Spread that out. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep that, keep that around there. And then I'll just bring this right back to, to zero. And that looked really, what's the word, uninspired, but yeah, I, I'm not actually going to play with the curves here, you, you kind of get the general idea of, of how it's going to be. Um, where else can we do this? Color bar. It's a little different to the other one I showed, but yeah, you kind of get the, the general idea. 
so yeah just work those settings around a little bit and have a bit of a tweak and see what you can end, what, end up with that's the great part about cavalry so this is the final animation i put together just running through it again so it's the similar similar technique all the same techniques uh, just play around with it and uh, do what you want one thing you could do if you really wanted to is just to link up all these different parameters into your control panel or just having some kind of master slider somewhere else just so that it all kind of comes together at the same time cool thanks for watching Thank you.